We welcome in John Perry, our rules expert, nearly 20 years as an official in the game. And John, we're going to run back with you and I did on SportsCenter on Sunday night. For those that didn't see it, Kadarius Tony, was he offsides? Was the call correct? It was. It was a correct call. You know, they're talking about all these warnings, but when it's that egregious and that clear that a foot, a shoulder, and a helmet is beyond, not just in, but beyond the neutral zone, it's an automatic foul. And this is a great play. Take a look at the receiver at the top. He's clearly on the line of scrimmage. His helmet's breaking the center's waistline, and his shoulders are square. And now look towards the bottom. This is almost a yard difference that we're talking about. At least a half yard, foot clearly over along with the helmet. John, I'm not a, the biggest fan in the world of the, of the snapshot as it can. You can make it tell the story you want, but when you see Rasheed Rice and his front foot is on the 50 and you see Tony's back foot is on the 50, I think it's pretty evident just what you describe is what the eye tells us is true. As for the warning, I've had players say to me it's just it's kind of an understood that you might you'd get a warning. But is it the official's job to give a warning at any situation and per, particularly in this one where the Chiefs are saying we should have gotten one? This is a technique that all officials, every position uses. We communicate with players mm -hmm. for the entire game, and we try to preventive officiate. We don't want the flags. The fewer the flags, the better. Everybody would agree with that. So you're constantly working with the players. And in this case, if it was closer, if he was just pushing the envelope, if he was slightly in with just a foot, Maybe it doesn't even get noticed, but he would probably receive a warning. In this case, he is so clearly beyond the line of scrimmage in the neutral zone that it's an automatic flag. Every one of our fouls have uh, philosophies and interpretations, and this is exactly what the current interpretation is. If you're beyond, it's a flag. Push the envelope, warning. This was not a push the envelope. 13 times, I believe, if I've got the number right, this has been called. Is it a fair analogy, John, to say, similar to the play clock, we see it get to zero and maybe there's a split second before the snap and there's the wiggle room that will be given. But if we get to zero and it's a beat and we're approaching a second beat, that's got to be called because it's far beyond the wiggle room. Is that, an, is that a fair analogy? Yeah, there's no easy call out there, right? Understood. But in this, in this case, there's no live action. The line of scrimmage official is standing on the line. 11 players come to the line. 11 players need to get set. He got <laughs> set. He reads it right. as overt and beyond. It's a flag. All right, I don't think we can be a whole lot clearer than this. I just want to exhaust all avenues here for all the Chiefs fans that have been uh, as angry as their head coach and their quarterback were afterwards. John, thank you so much. You bet. All right, Ryan. Uh, what are you laughing at, man? He was so far off sides, though. Well, okay, so he we're said, familiar with, like, the line. <laughs> the receiver comes up, and you see him look down the line. And, I, look, as a Washington fan, I remember what happened with, with uh, Terry, Terry McLaurin. McLaurin. Yeah. He looked yes. down the line, appeared to get the yeah. you're good, and they still threw a flag against the guy. Correct. Just, what, what happened here to your to your? Well, uh, I mean, one, he was off sides, and yep. the, the mm -hmm. official is just doing his job by the letter of the law. Mm -hmm. And if you look out throughout this game, there were guys like Rasheed Rice and other wide receivers for the Kansas City Chiefs that you can actively see checking with the official yep. and a lot of times RG knows this sometimes the communication is between receiver as well if they have their hand up they're letting the receivers know also that I am on the ball the official could see that as well Correct. or they'll say that they're off Kadarius Tony was pushing the envelope as Mr. Perry said a lot the entire day mm -hmm. this time he just opened it all the way up and so when you have that call in that moment, the official's not thinking that he has a DeLorean and he can see the future. <laughs> and he knows that Travis Kelsey is going to make the greatest play of improv the flag, of the 2023 right. season. The, the flag happened at the right. snap. You know, you know what I used to hate, right, when you were hooping oh. and the dude would go to the hole and he missed the layup and he'd tell about, and Ball. one! Ball. <laughs> what you mean? Ball. You missed it 10 minutes Respect ago. Respect my call. That, that wasn't this, <laughs> right? As good. soon as the official recognized that he was offsides, he threw the flag. I, I want to get to the Bills because I don't want to miss how significant this, yeah, yeah, this yeah. Uh, victory for them was. I, I, but I feel like I have to at least ask, and I'm asking you to guess what their feelings are, right. and I don't love that. But this is five losses for Kansas City. It's two weeks in a row where yep. calls impacted the end. I just wondered yeah. how much of the reaction that we see out of Mahomes, and I know you want to talk about him as a teammate, but just how much is baked into that? 
Yeah, I don't think Mahomes' reaction was based off of this one play, this one play right. or even last week. You got to think back to the season for the Kansas City Chiefs, 33 drops from their pass catchers. Mm -hmm. I think that Patrick Mahomes is kind of acting like, uh, you know, when you ask your wife or your girl, hey, you fine? And she says, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> and you know, she ain't good. <laughs> All right, she about to bring up something from three yeah. weeks ago yeah, that she don't even good, remember. Man. Right? And I think that's what happened with Mahomes here. He's been frustrated all year with just the alignment, assignment, and technique of yep. the wideouts. They haven't been on the same page. Their offense hasn't been clicking okay. as well as he would want it to be. And I think that's what all boiled over in that moment. Now, Kadarius Tony was offsides. Okay. 100%. Should the flag have been thrown in that moment? Yes, it should have okay. after all the information that we've gained today. Okay. The, the big thing is this, though. If you're, Travis, if, if you're Patrick Mahomes, you're lashing out because you've been the consummate professional. No doubt. Right? You've been the sort of teammate that doesn't even exist in the real world. He's a <laughs> fantasy football teammate. Right? You and I are standing there, and we're watching the football float through the air and about to see the greatness of MVS catching this ball yep. for Patrick Mahomes to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Couldn't have been thrown better. You nope. know what he said? I could have thrown the perfect pass, perfecter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have thrown it a little bit shorter yeah. to give him an op opportunity to catch it. Add this to the drops, what you yeah, saw yeah. from Kadarius Tony. This is just another opportunity for these wide receivers to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory.